another episode, another comparison video. In this one, I'll be looking at the two Davidoffs. Davidoffs EDT uh, from 1988, uh, Cool Water, that is. The cool Water EDT released in 1988, and the Parfum recently released Parfum from 2021, yeah, 2021. So this is a very unfair comparison because these two fragrances, surprise, surprise, are very different, right? Um, they are both from Davidoff. They are both cool water. One is an EDT, one is an EDP. So you would assume that uh, this is a newer version, much more dense version of a of 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 this original one. But hell no, I think that 20, 30 year plus gap between the fragrances has created something of a distance in terms of the note, not even note breakdown, but the scent DNA now. Uh, so essentially what has happened here, it has gone from being an aquatic to a more green um, herbal type of uh, fragrance. Now, it's no longer, uh, you know, aquatic and blue, but rather dense and green for some reason. So very, very surprising. When I bought it, I was quite shocked, actually. So yeah, um, just to start off with the original, um, released in 88, 1988, it's an EDT uh listed as an aromatic aquatic so you will see based on the notes here it's an aromatic for sure um sea water lavender mint green notes at the top uh, rosemary cologne and coriander as well there and then middle notes you've got sandalwood neroli geranium and jasmine and then the base you've got musk uh, oak moss tobacco cedar and ambergris so essentially old school 80s type of uh, vibe when it comes to the the the, the notes you know um so the older ver uh, fragrances had a lot of notes the newer ones much less for example in comparison the parfum uh top notes lemon pink pepper and then the mint you've got Haitian vetiver and then the base you've got sandalwood just like that five notes yeah and it's much denser it's much more modern this one you can tell that it's a much older fragrance but surprisingly enough both work you know this old one still works as a classic aquatic fragrance um so yeah um so in terms of performance yeah um obviously the perform being much more denser um will last longer uh, nine hours plus and then this one being an edt it's, it's a bit it's not weak right it's not weak so this is a seven to eight hour type of fragrance so, so the edt seven to eight hour fragrance um and then here 10 hours plus um so the perfume it's nice it's dense it's it's very modern and you know while the edt smells very much an old school type of aquatic fragrance right so in terms of weather wise obviously the perfume perfect for um the winter months um the colder months and then the edt definitely like a hot weather type of scent you know um, holiday type of fragrance to me it just smells like the holidays but even as a um, a signature scent it still works i know a lot of people that still use david of cool water as their signature scents and they're happy and it lasts long enough and you know it, it does the job um the perfume um i guess yeah um as a signature scent i think you can get the green uh facet of it can get a bit clone to people you know not everybody likes that kind of vibe but it, it's still a good fragrance it doesn't make it bad because it's very green um so very good fragrance as well i would recommend it as a daily scent though special occasions you know evening settings you know date night type of fragrance this, this would work but it's not a mass appealing type of fragrance in a way like i said it's very green you know so there's been an evolution here from an aquatic to some more green type of fragrance right and then in terms of uh wearability like i said both the wearable just you must just decide what the occasion is for you and then price wise um they're much more on the lower end you know very affordable easy to get into the both of these are 75 mils 
um, I did not spend more than, no, this is 50 mils, this is 75 mils. Um, uh, this I spent much less. I think I spent less than 500 rands to get this. Obviously, discount of price. And then this one I bought retail. Um, it was on a special, but I didn't pay more than 800 for it, right? Um, and then in terms of age groups, who can wear what? Um, uh, these are not young men's scents, just to be asked off the bed just to be honest when it comes to that these are not young men's scents um these are more mature type of fragrances and you know they they work you know so guys in their 40s 50s you know um these still work for you but if you're younger i wouldn't maybe i would recommend the edt cool water perform especially for teenagers it's cheap and you know it's an easy fragrance to get into um so teenage fragrance but when it comes to this one here um it's a bit too green for you know for the younger crowd right so yeah final verdict um both great fragrances um but i would still go with um the original in terms of versatility and overall usage that you can get out of it doesn't mean the performers are bad uh, fragrances and uh, fragrance it's just that it's got a particular taste you know so you must have a particular taste and fragrances to really really love this but doesn't mean it's bad at all you know it starts off very green but still settles down quite well as a slightly blue aquatic fragrance but very green um so yeah um so that's it this or that um and uh the original wins on this one till next time um please like subscribe share the video um over and out